Hey, welcome to my channel. I've got this really cool drone that RC Moments sent me. And what's cool about this little drone, and what's cool about this little drone is it's got a little camera on the bottom, a sensor, so that it will do uh, stabilization, just like the Mavic and the Spark. Let me get around this thing. And if I put my hand under this little camera, watch what happens. It will follow me. Whoa, come back here. So anyways, watch this review. I'm going to demo it. Stay tuned. Okay, buddy, you gotta land. Where's that down button? Down button. See ya. <laughs> yes, land. All right, reviews coming up. So here's the package I received from RC Moment. It is the little quadcopter mini with the optical flow sensor, which I think is pretty cool. If you look on the side, it has a few features. Charging time is 20 minutes to 30 minutes, and you get four to five minutes of flight time. Here's all the features. Optical flow sensor, height hold, 360 flips and rolls, 2.4 gigs, three speeds, six axis gyroscope, LED lights, and you can even take pictures and video. That'd be interesting. So let's take a look at this. Let's open up the box here and check this out. Inside we have our blue little copter. Let's see what's in the box. All right, so the copter is attached by a wire, I'll get that off. Inside, you've got the remote. And that's a pretty big remote for such a small copter. That's pretty cool. And let's yank that out. Get the remote out of there. And in the bottom, you've got some instructions. It says there's an app on the App Store and there's also an app on Google Play if you want to use your phone. So let's see what we have here. So we have the remote control, which is, uh, it's really nice feeling. Oh, and it's like on a phone. The, the joysticks just slide up, slide down, slide to the right, left, around and around. You have two buttons. One says up, one says down. I have no idea what they do yet. 3D, H and L. It's actually rubberized here on the side, so it feels really good in the hands. Interesting. And this looks like it opens. Let's just see. There we go. That opens, ah, oh, I see what it is. So this opens and you put your phone in here. Your phone would fit here. That's pretty sweet. I can't see where you put the batteries in this. Let's try turning it on. Well, guess what? There's power in this thing. So it must have a rechargeable. There it is right there. It's a rechargeable battery. So if I flip over the bottom, here's all the other little pieces. Oh, I've got the USB cable. Uh, also here I have extra prop and we have some sort of little tool that's right here. It's probably for putting the props on or off or helping with that. There's the manual if you can read that really quick. It's not bad. It's all in uh, one language. So this whole thing, there you go, shows exactly what the aircraft does. Pretty sweet. It's actually a, a pretty nice looking manual for something this small and this inexpensive. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, check out the quadcopter. Here's the quadcopter. Here's the camera right here. The flow sensor is right there on the bottom, which would be shooting down. It's, it's pretty much a type of camera. You have the antenna, which looks to be here. This looks to be antenna on the outside. Another antenna there uh, to get the frequency for the controls. And the charging port would be here, I would presume, as well as the on-off switch. In the instructions here, it shows that the camera has a frame rate of 30 frames per second and it takes records in a video format of 640 by 480, which is VGA. Okay, so we have two USB cables. This big one here, the large one, this is for your controller. Plug one in in, in the controller and there we go. Plug the other end in your laptop or computer or any device that charges USB and uh, this will charge up. When the red light goes off, it's charged. Next, we have the actual drone itself. Same idea, it's a USB. Has a little charging plug on the back. It only fits one way, which is this way. There we go. Plug this into your computer or some sort of USB device that charges and uh, we're all set. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna charge up the controller and the drone and uh, then we'll go flying. Okay, so here I have the little controller for this cool little drone, and I'm gonna try it first without using the phone app. So we're just gonna fly it with this here controller. So turn it on, got a nice red light. Switch this baby on. Got some flashing lights. 
and now to sync them. So to sync them, just move up, down, and there we go. The light should stop flashing. Solid. We're all set. Now to take off, just press this little up button. There we go, it's in the air. And it has the flow sensor see, underneath it. I don't know if you can see underneath, right up there. So that means if I put my hand here, it's gonna follow my hand. And if I go this way, this way, this way, and come all the way back this way. There we go. And to fly it, you have your joystick here, you can go forward, takes off, comes back, go to the left, go to the right. And now we'll try a nice little landing, I'll bring it down a bit. So to land this thing, the closer it is to the ground, the more that the sensor can actually view the ground and get a little bit better picture. So let's just put it over the landing pad and Get you over there. Bring it down a bit. There we go. So if I want to land, I'm gonna hit the down button right here. Just put it over. There we go. And she has landed. Now these other buttons here, uh, this one here, obviously you just saw me flying it. That's if I want to go up or down, spin it around 360 either way. And this here will t send it away from me, closer to the right, to the left. Now, and that was the takeoff, and that's the landing. Uh, you also have this. This is for your speed control, and this here is for flips. So we'll give that a shot. Let's take off. All right, so I'm in normal speed right now. Fly away from me. It's not very fast. Bring it close. Press this once. Now in, in the second speed, a little bit faster. Much better, and of course, now we're gonna go in the fastest speed. There we go. Bring it back. I'll put it back into normal speed. Now if I wanna do flips, all I do is I hit this button, hold this button down, wait for the beep, and I want it to flip to the right, so I'm gonna hold this right. There we go. And I'll bring it back. It has a camera on it too, and I'll show you that in a minute. So the controller right at the top has this little thing, which is for your cell phone. So you pull this out, it's on a spring, stick your cell phone in here, and there we go. Now you could use it with your cell phone. So we'll try that. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on. This should shoot out a Wi-Fi signal, and I should see it on my, let me see here, there it is right there. The one that is CXOF. So I select that. That's Wi-Fi to this here drone. There we go. I'm connecting to this here drone. Then after I have it connected, perfect, it says it's connected. Let's just go and start the app, which is right here. And there we go. So the camera, as I'm rotating it here, is actually seeing what I see on the phone is what this tiny little camera in the front is picking up here. All right, so let's fly around and check out what it looks like. So down there is the drone and it's ready to go. I'm using the app now. So there's a little up arrow here, I'll hit it. And the drone flies up. Now I have to control it with these controls. And let's just snap a photo here. Let's just turn it, oh, wrong way. Okay, let's take it up a bit. There we go, picture of a house, snap a photo. And now we'll go into video mode, bring it back, bring it down. Now we're gonna go into a different mode here. We're gonna go into choreography. Now choreography is, there should be music playing and it's gonna dance to music. So, I'm just gonna go here, 
to the menu. There's a demonstration. It says demonstration one. I'm going to pick that. Take me back. There it is. I don't have a clue what it's going to do. Hopefully it doesn't crash on me. Here we go. Oh, I hear music. Music is going and it's dancing to it. <laughs> I see. Well, this is pretty cool. Now I've got a little stop button in case it goes weird. Oh, it's landing. Well, that was the end of demonstration one. That's <laughs> pretty sweet. So that's what it looks like. Let's see if I take it up. Go way up in the air. It's going pretty high. I'm going to spin it around now so it can look. There we go. Not too far. Let's bring it over here. There we go. So there it is, way up there. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to hit it on, come down for a landing. And it's coming all the way down for a landing. There she goes. Pretty sweet. All right, so that's my review of this little baby. I will say out of all the drones, the toy drones that I've reviewed that people have sent me, this is by far my favorite. This toy drone is worth every penny and it only costs like uh, 34 or $35, I think that's all it is. So it's a pretty amazing piece of kit, something this small for what it can do. The only negative I can see is the batteries inside and you can't take it out. So when the, the charge runs out after about five minutes of flight, you got to put it on the charger for your 45 minutes, 30, 45 minutes and let it charge up again and wait to go again. There's no battery you can plug in and just fly right away. That's the only downside, but everything else, it's positive. Even this dinky little camera, it takes pretty good pictures and video for, be, for what it is. You know, it's fun. It's the fun factor. What do you expect for like 35 bucks? But I mean, it's got a camera in it. It can even dance to music and do all that other stuff. So if I were you, I would go to my link below, check it out, uh, order one. This would be an awesome gift for Christmas, birthdays, whatever. So, hope you enjoyed this review and demo. Till next time.